I'm Jason Ramirez, and I've been asked to talk about the film that I'm creating called uh, Cruzado. It's set in 1883, and we're here at uh, Mission Sincaja, just outside of Tilden, Texas, where the story takes place. Uh, begins with the murder in Tilden, Texas, just outside of what would have been the general store. And then it's a five-day chase from uh, Tilden, Texas, down to San Ignacio. It's a story of a uh, Texas ranger who has become a sort of uh, a bounty hunter and two Mexican um, fellers, their cousins actually, and they were uh, attacked and defended themselves and then because they were scared they ran, which would have probably happened back then. So they take off across country and the only witness who saw it uh, tells a Texas ranger that he really doesn't know what he saw. So they're all brought in together to go um, in this chase. Each one of them has their own baggage. They all have histories of their own about uh, what makes them kind of view the world in certain ways. And this story is really relevant because it, it's, it's a Western told about, uh, uh, from, from two different cultures, right? From, from the white side of things where it's the typical cowboys and you know all mexicans are bad and at the same time the mexicans are like all the gringos are coming after us <laughs> but it's 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 more than that right they, they attempt to do the right thing there's the prejudices involved there's the mixed feelings about things there's the the guy the one witness who doesn't quite know what he saw and so he struggles with that so i think it's it's really relevant to today's audiences because it's starting to make us think about each other from um, that everybody has their own perspectives on things. And it's been in the works a long time. We started in 2014 asking for money, shot it in 2016. What is it, 2023? So it's been, been in the can for a long time, but we're hoping to have it out this year. Um, it's called Cruzado, and I'm here talking with the Wild West History Association, great folks, and uh, hope, to, hope you enjoy it when it comes out. T t tell me about some of the... Uh the actors that you have uh, recruited to be in your video. Sure, so they're all, a lot of them are veteran actors. Some of them are, are brand new. One of them, the main, the main guy from San Ignacio is uh, Rene Mendez. He calls himself the Reen. He's uh, an, actually a musician from Laredo, Texas. And I did a little bit of work with him on another project and it was his first film ever and he blew me away with what a great actor he was. And in Crusado, he did a phenomenal job. Uh, Mike Gomez is out of Bryan, Texas. Again, his first time ever acting. I had seen him do some other things, but he, he, he makes you believe it. He makes you feel it. Uh, RJ Preston is one of the, is the lead. He actually plays a Texas Ranger. Uh, character's name is Damian Wells. He's from, um, from Fay, Oklahoma. If you've ever heard of RJ Preston Sombreros, He's the guy who makes them. He's an incredible craftsman, builds holsters, uh, period gun leather. He's a, a great historian. He builds saddles and things exactly the way they would have been. And he's got a, a long history, a long resume of acting. He's been in, uh, he had a, a role in The Return to Lonesome Dove. He was a stuntman who worked at Euro Disney, professional bronc rider in college. Um, uh, Jody Stelzig, he was a, is a, a, a great stuntman, a, a big starring role for him, did a great job. And Colby, our young guy, he was, he was, I think he was a little over 18 when we did it. Now he's well old enough to drink, and, uh, but he's, he was also an incredible guy. Grew up in the film and made the character grow too. That is really interesting. Now, now one more thing. <clears throat> I know that the, the, uh, the, picture was supposed to take place somewhere in South Texas. Did you film it in South Texas? Yes, all filmed as close as we could to the actual locations. Um, the biggest landmark here is just outside of Three Rivers, George West, Texas, called uh, Lomo Sin Caja, which is translated to mean the hill without a box or the hill without a coffin. It's got a great history behind that or legend of, of lost gold. It's It's got a legend of, of treasure. It could also mean that the Indians were found buried there without a coffin, because Sincaja could mean without a coffin. Um, Tilden, Texas was actually called Dogtown at the time. In the movie, we make reference to that. 
Dogtown was kind of a wild little post. It was on the Camino Real, which was the road from San Antonio to the border. Um, another place that was spectacular was we got to shoot at the uh, La Campania Ranch. And there on that ranch is a couple of landmarks that are in the story and also are true landmarks. One of them is called Loma Lechusa, which is translated as the Hill of the Owl. And Lechusa is also a mythological um, Mexican witch, a woman who turns into a witch to disguise herself and can also become a, uh, usually like a, a harbinger of death. So there's a lot of mystery surrounding around that, but we filmed there between those hills. And the other great landmark that we got to film out was a place called um, the Devil's Waterhold. And it's a really rough, rocky outcropping. It was kind of a natural spring. And the landowners, the Martin family, especially Melaine Martin, uh, really worked with us to get us out there. And we got to film at those locations. So it was, it was an incredible experience. In Austin, Texas, there is a place uh, that is a, a, a fully restored ranch. And we were, we were fortunate enough to film there. And, and it's very well preserved. But one of our largest producers was uh, Kurt House, who actually built a full replica of a Spanish-style mission on his ranch just outside of Three Rivers. It's incredible. He has it open for guests for certain events, and it's just a magical place to come out here. And so we were fortunate. I would say 75% of the film was filmed here on this ranch just outside of uh, Three Rivers, Texas. Well, that's, you know, that's where we are now. People, mm -hmm. you know, they don't probably don't know that. But that's where we are now. And to me, it's the most enchanted place I've ever been to that I can remember. I mean, Absolutely. I enjoy every time I come out here, something special about it. From the wildlife to the weather, it's unpredictable. <laughs> yeah. And the sunsets, right? They're incredible. We're sitting here in the kitchen with this wonderful rock stove and waiting for the sunset to come out. It's going to be It's, it's definitely the wild, wild west. It is. Absolutely. And we're, we're here, um, uh, the Nueces Strip, right, in between the Nueces River and the Rio Grande, which would have been the uh, the, the whole reason that the, the, the Mexican-American War was fought, and we're right here in that wildest part of Texas. You're exactly right. Great. Now, I know that you've been working on this for years. How soon do you think this will be released to the the public or to YouTube or Netflix or whoever. I think you said you had maybe a couple more uh, chapters in this to edit. And I, I know exactly what you're talking about. Editing takes a long time, much more than, than shooting the video. So what, what, do you th what do you think? When is it going to be out? So we've got 45 scenes. Um, they've all been edited into something. We've got about three scenes left that need some real refinement to make sure that the pacing is right. We've got the color correction yet to go, the sound editing, pretty much got the music picked out. Um, so I was actually hoping to have a full rough cut uh, this within the week or so. I, again, it's been seven years. We've been working for probably eight now, but uh, hoping to have at least some sort of release by the end of the summer of 2023. That's great. And now, I'm going to need from you, please, because we'll, we'll post this interview on YouTube. I'm going to need some pictures and maybe some uh, same side of your video mm -hmm. to, to show the public. And I think they will uh, well receive what you've, you've done, because I know you have spent a lot of personal time on this trying to get it right. So uh, good luck, and, and we hope to, uh, to uh, see it soon on the big screen. Sure. The, uh, there's a couple of trailers out for it. You can search YouTube for it right now. Uh, one was a, a funding trailer, and then there was another one that was the official trailer. So take a look. It's Cruzado, C-R-U-Z-A-D-O. In Spanish, it means either the crusade or the crossover. And in the film, there's, there's uh, a lot of allusions to both meanings of that word. Thank you so much, Jason, for your and interview. Thank you.